To balance the carbs, you have to hold a vacuum on the auto pet car. I removed the chrome cover and then disconnected the vacuum line and then reconnected it so that it wasn't passing through the bracket that held the cover on. This left it more exposed so that it was easier to pinch off while the engine was running. Then I connected it to the tube for the manometer. I have the California model and while I don't show it, you have to run around and pinch off the vacuum line running to cylinder 4 as well. I had done a bench sink on the carbs before I installed them. My digisync is set up for 6 carbs so you can ignore the last two. And here's what the digisync showed me. I was never able to get number 1 in sync with the rest of them and a gentleman who goes by Stealth AU on the V4 Muscle Bike Forum suggested that I take the valve covers off and do a valve clearance check. The good news is you don't have to remove the motor and it's not that hard to get in there to measure them. valve cover is a two-piece design and you have to remove the top part before you can take the bottom part out. This metric flat ratcheting wrench became my new best friend. I'll just be checking the back two cylinders, one and three. Crank needs to be at T1 compression to check cylinder one. We need to check two intake and two exhaust valve clearances. For cylinder three, the crank needs to be at the T3 position. Both sets of valves were within spec on cylinder three. This is cylinder one. These are my intake uh, shims. And they're supposed to be 0 .006, and mine are 0 .007, which is within spec. The exhausts are supposed to be 0 .01, plus or minus 0 .001, so I'm within spec. And there's the problem. My right exhaust valve on cylinder one has no clearance. So Stealth AU was right. I might be able to take the head off without taking the motor out. Wish I'd have known that before. Have to remove the cam, which means we have to remove the cam retainers to find out what's going on underneath. Well, I don't know if you can see this. The problem wasn't the shim. The problem. But the problem is that retainer is not down all the way. I just saw this on another YouTube video about how to install valve springs and keepers. Basically, you take a small socket, put a spring in a bigger socket, put that in there, and this socket is big enough that that end, the valve shaft fits in, but this end will stay here and keep the retainers in. I move the piston to the top dead center so the valve can't, can't fall any farther than it is right now. A lot happened very fast there. I fixed the clip, checked the clearance, and everything was within spec. I balanced the carbs the next day and everything ran great. Thanks for watching.